why Kyle Shanahan won't bench Jimmy Garoppolo. It seems to me that he deserved to get benched in this game. It's real clear how the Niners win. It's don't turn the ball over. They're six. They're, they're undefeated when Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't turn the ball over. They're one and six when he does. His one job is don't turn the ball over. Anything else is, is gravy. His main job is don't turn the ball over. And when he threw that pick in the first quarter or whatever, I mean, that should have been it right there. But then the second pick, that was the game. And it's like, you know that he's he's giving the game away. And that literally anyone that won't turn the ball over would give you a better chance to win. But Kyle Shanahan won't make the switch when he's real tough on other players, right? It's tough on Ayuk. He's, he, he makes examples out of players, but Jimmy, he's got nothing to say. Not a peep. Nothing. Why? Well, I think it's pride. I think the answer is pride. Why is it pride? Because Kyle Shanahan said this was the plan. I'm not playing Trey Lance this year. I'm playing Jimmy. And a lot of people questioned him and he doesn't like being questioned because he's Kyle Shanahan and we don't, we're not, he knows more about football than us. So he said, this is the best thing for the team. People were like, what are you talking about? People like me. And he doesn't want to admit that he was wrong. Benching Jimmy Garoppolo at halftime of this game and going to Trey Lance in week 16. It's a little late. It would admit, it would be admitting you were wrong. So this all like going down with Jimmy Garoppolo, it's pride, not wanting to be wrong. And you know, to quote the great Pulp Fiction, fuck pride. Remember that? Ving Raim said that to Bruce Willis. That's pride fucking with you. Fuck pride. And I think that's great advice for everyone. Fuck pride. You were wrong adapt. You thought you'd be way better with Jimmy Garoppolo. You're eight and seven. Make a move. You couldn't, you didn't accurately predict the future. Most of us don't assess the evidence in front of you and make an adjustment, but you won't because pride is fucking with you. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that one, but I hope I uh, helped you acknowledge and identify the issue. It's a pride issue. It's not about who gives the Niners the best chance to win or what's the best plan for the future or the present is pride. hundred percent. It's not a good thing. Grant, our last hope and in great, you're our last hope and in position with the team to find Shanahan face to face, flinch at him and demand Lance, uh, Lance to start. I'll do what I can. Kyle doesn't like to be questioned or challenged after the game. I asked him how he thought he coached and I actually thought he did all right. And he looked at me like, dude, why? I was like, man, you just dole out criticism so freely and easily to everyone else. Why don't you just say something about that? I mean, or say you did a good job. I don't know. Say that Jimmy blew it. Say something. Grant, are what you talking about jittery through absolute dimes to the defense? True. Dimes. Am Todd says, love your tough questions, but for once you shouldn't. You should have went at banana hands. We all knew that loss was on Jimmy in our third down defense. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the defense a lot in a minute. You didn't grade QC and grades. I should have. I'll grade him. I'll, I'll grade uh, him tomorrow. Him. I hope Jimmy gets grilled for blaming his iron uh, his interceptions on the offense. It's not going to happen because the other vets will defend his. I, they defend him and he throws them under the bus. It's ridiculous. As bad as Jimmy is, it's Kyle who trots him out every week. No other player has that much leash. I agree. Ayuk doesn't have that leash, but Jimmy does, and Ayuk is legitimately a better player. Jimmy is smiling and using we statements after the game. Meanwhile, Debo is killing himself to win. Jimmy is a leader, though. Mic'd up said so. Yeah, well, what did he say in, in Mic'd up? Let's go! Let's go! Is that leadership? Let's go, baby! Start Trey. Banana hands. Jimmy makes the same mistakes over and over. Shake my head. Jimmy, two picks. Start Trey and let him learn. It's a little late for that, man. They should have been doing that all year. I was trying to beat the drum on that. Niner fans weren't trying to hear it. After that Falcons win. First loss, Trey says on me, never heard Jimmy utter that. Yeah, man. His first start, he goes to Arizona, throws one interception. Trey Lance, after the game, says, that was on me. I lost that game. Jimmy goes out and is like, oh, yeah, you know, short week. George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, blah, blah, blah. Like, dude, you lost the game. Say it. Say it. I'm with you, man. I don't respect that. Everyone likes Jimmy because he's like, 
you know, uh, charming and humble or whatever. But like, if you listen to what he says, he's never blames himself. He often blames his teammates. I don't, I don't get it, man. Also, I love how with four seconds left, they'd rather run the lateral 30 times down the field than put Lance in and launch one to the end zone. Like, thank you. What is the deal? You really going to ask that? Like, like the, the Debo Samuel, you want him to run through the whole defense? Or you want you to do like the, the miracle? You want to do like a Music City miracle as opposed to just get a quarterback on the field who could throw the ball more than 50 yards? Yeah, I'm with you, James. Good call. Do you think Kyle doesn't bench Jimmy due to Jimmy being Lynch's boy and Kyle doesn't want to lose his job? Can, can Kyle be that prideful? A little of both. Um, I think Kyle doesn't bench Jimmy because, again, Kyle decided that J Trey's, Lance, Trey's time is next year and that Jimmy's time is this year. It's his plan, and he's not going to admit that he was wrong on that. It's just not, especially when I've been grilling him all year. Grilling him. I knew it was over when Jimmy threw that first pick. It's infuriating watching Goldfish Boy smile and laugh it up on the bench. Goldfish Boy. I've never heard that. And I don't know what it's referring to, but it's mean. It's mean. The real problem is Kyle. He allows his wide receivers to wear shirts about his college years. It's mocking him and uh, testing the boundaries. Imagine Bill seeing that pregame in New Orleans, in New England. Yeah, it's like, who the hell is Kyle Shanahan, right? He caught a couple passes in college. Let's make fun of him. He takes it. The one person who didn't wear that jacket, who, that, that shirt, though, Ayuk. I don't think it's all hunky dory between those two. I gotta say, if we don't make the playoffs, you know who I'm blaming. BT Dub, much love from Coastal Carolina University Grant, same school Norman attended. Uh, they're gonna make the playoffs. They 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 will. Shout out though. Simple stat: Trey three and one, three to one TD to INT ratio. Jimmy two to one. That's a good stat. I like that. It's in spreadsheet form though. Maybe the Denise. And John York will help Kyle with his pride. Maybe. Where are they? Where is Jed? I haven't heard from Jed since he left that Dolphins uh, embarrassing loss last year and, and drove the wrong way down a one-way street. Did you see Bosa on the verge of tears during the press conference? I don't think he'll be wanting to come back. He and the rest of the defense have no faith in Jimmy and the offense. It's time for Lance. He looked depressed in the post-game presser. Nick Bosa looked depressed. Just all that effort in vain for nothing. Yes, I did see that. I was in the room. It was quite shocking. He had nothing to say. He was answering answering in grunts and monosyllables. Jimmy, jittery garbage throw and no style banana hands. Gotta go. And it rhymed. I liked it. The pump fake Jimmy Grant, please. It's therapeutic. I need pump fake Jimmy. Jimmy, man. He did that so much today. That was a vintage pump fake Jimmy performance. Take roll aids before you watch film with Hammer, bro. Whew. Yeah, that, well... That'll be in a few days. Uh, my, okay, there. That's great. Thank you for that. Uh, Jimmy said that on the fourth and sixth to Ayuk that he couldn't even see him when he threw it. What the hell? First interception, Kittle has covered the entire play. Yeah, it's great stuff, Jimmy. We love the excuses.